everyone, welcome to Women TV. Today we have a super interesting mumpreneur with us and she is Shweta Menon. Shweta is the founder director of Truly Tribal which is exclusively into Indian tribal and folk art and craft since 2015. She is an ex-IT professional and a very proud mum. And Truly Tribal is something really interesting you would want to know about. Hi Shweta. Hello. Welcome on our show. Thank you. And this is really exciting. Truly Tribal, what exactly it is and how did it begin for you? Truly Tribal uh, is a world of tribal and Indian tribal and folk art forms where we are working directly with the tribal and folk artisans across India. All these artisans we are dealing are actually from the community or the tribe where they belong to, where they have been working since generations and generations. Uh, we started off with one or two team, uh, set of team artisans. Idea was to bring all different kind of art forms, being a metal or a non-metal or a painting or things like that under a single umbrella. You know, so that you can not just for procuring simple off-the-shelf product at the same time, we would want to customize the work as well and bringing them into the urban lifestyle. That's great. So that's what uh, it was started off. Being an IT person, it had was a different journey, you know, it was a lot of unlearning and learning to bring that on the board. And uh, I feel we are in the right track, I guess, right now, since we started off with two or three artisans and now we have team of 100 plus artisans. Oh, and that's great. 15 plus traditional in an art form. We are spread across 12 states in India right now. And all our artisans are certified by Tribal Affair Ministry or by Dastakar Art Samiti. They do have all artisans card. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And during this journey, are there any major challenges you faced as such? Yes, we did actually. We started off with a different concept and the what we are right now, it has we have changed in terms of business model, in terms of approach, in terms of team building and things like that. We started off more of a retail setup where we were procuring things so we were getting things done from the artisans and putting that into the market. We took exhibition route, we started off with an online setup, we just did we spent a lot of money and the, we burned a lot of money rather I would not call it spent, it is called I burned a lot of money in all these various trials and all. And then I realized that, you know, this is not what we are taking it to the market to. And this is not what I can reach out to a larger audience. The idea is we want to have a larger audience. We can make these products more affordable to a larger audience, to urban as well as Indian as well as domestic as well as international markets. So yeah. that, you know, the time when the product costs are low, there are more buyers for it. Correct. That is number one. And number two, when we have these artisans, uh, these tra traditional artist work which are into their own setup you know I mean working in that traditional style how many paintings somebody would put how many artifacts they'll somebody put in the, their houses and with the urban lifestyle it is getting all the more and more difficult yeah. so uh, idea is to bring these art form into the um, lifestyle, lifestyle products so that and make it more affordable. That was a good idea. Yeah, so idea was that you know reach out to a larger crowd. So what we are now is we are consolidated after one year, one and a half year. I took a step back. I stopped. I traveled across the places with my artisans, locations, in individual villages and things like that. And then we started building completely different model where we will get customized things as well, the ready products. And we will do a larger reach out rather than be selling it ourselves. We will um, uh, supply to the stores, we will give it to the corporates, we will design and customize trophies, awards or gifts for them using these art forms and having these lifestyle products reach out to the store shelf where it is more reachable to the physical locations as well, not just the online presence. Okay. We are holding on to the online presence as well, but at the same time, you know, there are, we still have a crowd which are still prefer to go because handicraft or the craft is something people want to touch and feel at times. Yes. So it needs to have a reach out to the places where it, people can come the and go and say actual products. And since we are not in a, right now, we are not in a position where we can open our stores everywhere. So we are supplying to the stores, which are lifestyle or the gifting or the decor stores. We have few in Sholapur, Chennai, Bangalore, Calcutta, That's good. Delhi. We are supplying to the different locations of the stores. And I see a lot of planning has gone into it. Yes, when we started, we had a different thought process over a period. We realized there was some challenge in terms of delivery. We couldn't match up. Then we um, had to bring you know, that particular thing sorted. Then we realized that you know, packaging could be one of the things for the corporates. 
and yeah we did we did face challenges in terms of everything is not very hunky dory when it comes to dealing with artisans at times they are not as innocent and as poor as we believe them to be some of them are not some of them are really you know genuine guys so <coughs> i learned hard way how to filter out okay. lost money there are some time artists ran away with the money some time you know they give me products without even asking for money so we have had to both kinds of there things all kinds of all yes. kinds of things and yeah when we ex- and then we started export as well that to customize products sometime in 2000 within the first year of our production oh, interesting yeah, yeah within one year when now we took the export codes to everything all time we did that and it is something interesting you know i found all the documentation process legal um, uh, corporation and everything had been so smooth and so transparent i hardly had to travel places you know that way things were taken care of by itself that was there online things on these things did help me a lot yes that was there That's and cool. then uh, we did first customized product we shipped to dubai a customized wall bracket and it was an interior setup that was again we faced a lot of issues in custom it was a first export we were naive about the whole these things but they are very expanding to different countries now for australia or the malaysia to usa canada yeah. but most of the places we are trying to do a lot of customized things so that you know we can reach out to not just the ready product but the customization that's what our specialization is that's for cool. we can get anything done you know we even for the corporate gifting segment which we are trying to target is a for a one of the companies what we did from concept to creation a complete sketch for a gender award trophies where you know it was completely handcrafted in brass and in wood by tribals from west bengal okay yeah what we did for um, uh, dubai artisans that was from up then we did some things for another consulting company that was from rajasthan you know and what we are doing for eco friendly lines there we are doing from jharkhand and orissa so there is an interesting combination yeah there is an interesting things uh, different parts of artisans and teams and all of that that's great and uh, coming towards the end what's the inspiring message you would like to give across to all the women watching you see the thing is there are quite a few couple of things i would highlight you know every work is different every person is different every family kids everything is different priorities for everybody is different you do face some time you know that i mean there was time when i would think you know, did i make a mistake by doing this but just hold on to it mm-hmm. be passionate about it Sign money would there. come you know money would come at some point of time um, but at the same time very important to be passionate and about what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing yeah you it's a difficult balance to make you know at home at with kids and your person and you know personality as a person as a life the person the life and what you call uh, other stuff as well you know i mean the business yeah you need to find balance you know sometimes i think if i would have been focusing only on the business in 3 years i would have reached much ahead but at the same time i wouldn't trade for anything the way i have done it because i had i have two kids i know you know i need to spend time with them right over a period i do i mean during like sometime i feel i'm not spending enough time sometime you're feeling guilty at work sometime i'm feeling guilty at home but yeah that's part and parcel of the game you know you do not let it hit you so bad you know just phases it passes but yeah. enjoy what you're doing that's most important i believe it's then great. only you'll be able to hold on to and continue it for a long period yes absolutely isn't it so that was shweta menon with us from truly tribal stay tuned for more powerful stories Thank you from Oman TV. Thank you.